Jerome Kaino is one of New Zealand's rugby greats. With over a decade as a professional player under his belt and more than 50 All Blacks caps to his name, he's now stepping onto a new playing field with the release of his autobiography, My Story. And here he is, Jerome. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. Thank you so much for Skyping us. Now, I believe you're in camp with the All Blacks. When I think of, like, you're in camp, I imagine you guys have pitched a tent and you're all eating marshmallows. <laughs> but what does in camp mean? No, it's just um, we, we all meet at one place and um, our trainers and the coaches get us to, to pretty much live uh, under their timetable. So we wake up, uh, we're all together, we train together. Um, have field training and then gym sessions in the afternoon. So it's pretty much being monitored by the coaches and the, and the trainers. Right, so you're living to, together as a team. So what do you guys do in your downtime when you're not training? Well, with the All Blacks, there are a lot of meetings, but um, we do get a lot of downtime to either, depending on what town we're in, we get to walk around and have a, have a visit uh, the sites of that town or city. But, um, you know, a lot of guys like to either play PlayStation, read books, <laughs> play cards. Oh, nice. Go fish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Last card. Uh, yeah. A lot of guys like to relax after training, so the training trainings are quite uh, uh, strenuous. Wicked. Now, um, uh, I guess one of the perks of being an All Black is that you get to do a lot of travelling, as you were saying. What's the coolest place that you've been to? Mm. I'd have to say Rome would be up there with it. Um, you know, learning history at school and, and learning about the Romans and, and the ruins. Actually being there and seeing the Colosseum was quite special and seeing how much history the uh, Italy has it was, it was quite amazing. So I'd say Rome would be one of the best places I've been to. That's so cool, man. So you're on the road a lot and you'll be away from, from your family. I remember when my parents, they'd go away to Australia and they'd always bring back a souvenir. Do your family yeah. expect the souvenirs from you as well? Not really, but now that I've got kids, uh, they always like to um, you know, get given something <laughs> from, from places I, I go, go to. So I always make a make an effort to buy them something uh, nice. from places I visit. And what are your kids' names? Give them a quick shout out. They'll love you. So, hi, Milan. That's my daughter. And Kobe, my son. And also my wife, Di. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you better say watching. hi to the wife. <laughs> cool, man. Hey, so, uh, so you work so close to, 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 um, together when, when you're in camp and as a team. Who's your best friend in the All Blacks? Ooh, I've, uh, I get along with most of the boys, or all of the boys. Um, but one of the guys who I've played through the ranks would be Liam Messam. Um, yeah, we always play practical jokes on each other and we've played together since we're at school, so I'd say Liam Messam at the moment. Oh, that's so great. Hey, now, Ram, you've been in the All Blacks for a while now. You were in the 2011 uh, Rugby World Cup when we took it out. What's the vibe like in the camp at the moment compa uh, compared back to 2011? Yeah, the vibe's quite similar. Obviously, there's always pressure playing for the All Blacks and there's that expectation to win. But being world champions, there's that extra added pressure to, to go over to England and um, win it again. But uh, it's, uh, from what I feel, it's quite similar. Um, you know, guys are um, you know looking to get game time and, and hopefully get over to England, where it's a tough place to win and uh, try and win that trophy again. Yeah, yeah, nice. And uh, do you still remember that moment when that final whistle went off back in 2011? Yes, I do. I remember that last 10 minutes quite vividly where um, everyone was holding their breath to, and um, trying not to get a penalty and just waiting for that final whistle, and it was quite um, quite gratifying. Would that be up there as one of the best days of your life? Yep. It was probably one of the best two weeks of my life, actually. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We take those celebrations out quite, uh, quite long, but it was, it was quite an amazing time to be a Kiwi. Oh, yeah, and um, I just can't wait for the World Cup to kick off again. Hey, um, and also, uh, you've actually released a book this year, so uh, tell us a wee bit about your book. Yeah, it was um, a book that I decided to write um, through my career. I've been through some highs and lows, and um, you know, I've fought through them, and, and I'm here now, I'm still playing, and I'm still enjoying what I'm doing, so um, I thought I'd write a book to any aspiring professional rugby players or any uh, sports people that want to and that are going through some tough times that uh, maybe if they could pick up my book and learn through how I got through my troubles and um, get inspired by what I did. Yeah, well, I've, I've had a flip through the book and there's some great <laughs> advice in there and I fully recommend that you go and get it. And uh, where can people snap this book up, man? Well, you can um, go to any good bookstores and, and find it, but if you're um, on the internet, you can get it from mighty8.com. 
Nice, cool, cool. Hey, and also uh, you're a big, um, well, I follow you on Instagram and, and Twitter. And for other people that want to do, do the same, how can they do that? What's your Twitter handle and your Instagram? My Twitter handle and my Instagram handle are both the same. It's Jerome Kano, one word. Nice. And also on Facebook, I see you've just got Facebook as well. Sorry, I sound like a bit of a creepy stalker at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, what's your Facebook dog. one? Yeah, and Facebook's the same, it's Jerome Kano. Nice, look at that. Hey, well, Jerome, you've got a busy day. I believe you've got to go back uh, to training. Uh, but thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to Skype us. And, uh, mate, on behalf of New Zealand, do us proud in the, uh, next month's World Cup. No, thanks for having me. It's great to be on the show. Sweet. Take care, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, man, I hope I didn't embarrass myself too much. I was actually really nervous interviewing Jerome. Thanks for watching our YouTube Thank site, you. by the way. Hope you liked that video. I would have skipped through that, that one, too, oh, all the good bits. Yeah, but um, if you want to subscribe to the Ball Thirty Show YouTube page, you can click on that button right about there. Right there. Look, you haven't clicked there yet. I can see the side, and if you're going to click or not. Think about it. Do it. Just Come on, I'm getting sore. It's destroying this. Stop. Surely you've got to go get a snack soon, so you're going to click the subscribe button sooner or later. Oh boy.